Hi, everybody. How's it going? Um, I apologize. I haven't put up a video in a long time, and I mean a really, really, really long time, so I'm really sorry about that. Um, oh, I want to say, by the way, um, Happy New Year to everybody. I hope all of you are starting the new year out really well. Um, I am so far. It's kind of boring, but that's okay. But I hope all of you are doing well and having a happy, healthy, prosperous new year so far in January. Um, the video I'm going to show you today is the latest thing which I did on Friday, last Friday, which was I went into Boston, which is something I always enjoy doing um, every now and then because I went to school in Boston. So it just going to Boston just kind of gets my, I guess, my creative juices flowing. I just like walking around, exploring. I like shopping. So it's, a, I don't know, going into Boston is just a good experience for me. It's fun. So, um I'll show you what I ended up getting. So this is a haul, a kind of a haul, I guess you could say. The reason I say kind of a haul is because, unfortunately, I don't have all the original packaging and bags and stuff for all of the stuff I'm going to show you. But I'll at least show you what I got. And I broke into it and already used it because, unfortunately, I don't have time to just whip out the camera and just show you, hey, I'm done shopping, this is what I got. But I'll show you what I got anyway. So I hope you like this video. Um, I'm just going to turn this around really quickly, and I'll just show you right here. This is all the stuff I got when I was in Boston. It is a lot of stuff. So um, I guess we'll just jump on in, and I hope you like it. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to show you that I got was the first uh, place I went to to stop in to shop. Um, I actually bought something for once at Neiman Marcus, uh, which is very, which is definitely not something I do all the time because if you've never been to Neiman Marcus, it's very, very expensive. Uh, as my mom would always say, um, you can't even find a button in there for cheap at Neiman Marcus, or you couldn't even find one there for like $200 at Neiman Marcus. But I ended up going there because one of the perfumes that I have, if you see my perfume collection that I really, really, really like, is Calca Fleur Royale. I'm down to about halfway on it, and I wanted to get a backup. And I did look up on uh, the Neiman Marcus website that they do sell Aubergine perfumes, so I decided to go there and just see what they had because I didn't really take the time to look in Neiman Marcus because I didn't want to fall in love with anything there just because anything there is expensive. Um, so they did have it there, and it's really cool. Um, this is what the bag looks like if you shop at the actual Neiman Marcus. Otherwise, if there's a specific store, you'll get, um, if you shop at a specific store, you'll get a bag there. Like if you shop at the Coach store, you'll get a Coach bag. If you shop at Sephora, you'll get a Sephora bag. If you shop at like even any of the departments in the Neiman Marcus area, you'll still get a Neiman Marcus bag. So it's kind of cool. It has a, it just says Neiman Marcus and has like a alligator print on it. Probably can't see it from here, but it's kind of, kind of cool. But I ended up getting a gift set of the Aubergine Perfume Calca Fleur Royale, which is probably my favorite perfume I have. It comes in this really cool packaging. Um, it's this little case. It's velvety. It's really beautiful. It says Calca Fleur Royale, Aubergine Paris, and it has the classic um, emblem, the bouquet of flowers. And on the back here, it says this all the facts that it's the Eau de Parfum spray, it's the 3.3 ounce bottle, and then it comes with a body lotion. Usually, if I can, I get a gift set because I like having lotion to layer with it. And plus, it's a better value because, the, if I'm not mistaken, the lotion itself is like almost $85, and then the perfume itself is $200. So, this whole kit itself was, the two, was $200, and um, you can... Um, you're basically getting the lotion for free. But if I open it up, it looks like that. So it's really nice. Um, it has like a little backing underneath here that's holding them in place. But it's the same bottle that I have and then even the same little lotion thing. It's really nice presentation, actually. So this is really cool. So I'll definitely cherish this one because this is definitely my favorite perfume. I love it, but I also hate the fact that it's that much money. But I didn't want to risk getting it online, especially on Amazon, because I love Amazon, but there's always things going on on the Internet saying that people are getting a lot of fake stuff or counterfeit stuff, so I just didn't want to take that chance. 
I'll just show you again one more time before I put it away. Um, that is uh, what I got at Neiman Marcus. So I just decided to get it there and spend the 200 bucks. This is not something I do all the time, by the way. It's very rare that I spend that much on myself, especially on um, a perfume, but that is one I really, really like. So if I've, I've gotten a few new perfumes lately, but it was all because of, one, I've been working like crazy, so I made some extra money, and then two, it was um, also from Christmas money, so I ended up getting that. So that is what I got at Neiman Marcus. Okay, and the next place I went, of course, was Victoria's Secret. They're having their annual sale going on right now. They usually have this bag. The Victoria's Secret sale is just paper instead of, like, the nice plastic one that you normally get. But I ended up stopping there. This one was kind of on a whim. I wasn't expecting to stop in here at all, but I decided to see what they had there. So I just stopped in there to see what they had. Um, if I go into Victoria's Secret, it's usually just to get their body lotion, shower gels, body sprays, whatever, or perfume. Or every now and then I'll get a pink... Um, sweatshirt from the pink shop, but I don't normally get their underwear or whatever just because it's pretty expensive. But they had a deal going on there that pretty much all their shower gels, body lotions were uh, $5, and it was uh, 5 for 20 otherwise it's just 5 for each. So I ended up getting the 5 I ended up getting this fragrance, which I really like. It's called Passionate Kisses. It's cherry and vanilla, which it smells like. So I ended up getting uh, two of the uh, lotion and two of the body mist. Um, so those are really pretty. And it's nice, too, because it's not like a super, super overly sweet cherry. It's like a tart cherry. It's like an actual cherry smell. And the sweet part is the vanilla. So it's very pretty. I do like it. It says it's part of the Classics collection. I don't know if it was a discontinued fragrance and they brought it back or not. I'm not sure. But either way, it is really pretty. So I do like it. And then for the uh, fifth one I got, I just got one randomly. I got a, another body spray. It's called Secret Crush, which looks like that. And it's called Peony and Peach Blossom Fragrance Mist. So I just grabbed it. and It's just kind of sweet and very, very light. So I just grabbed that. Again, it was on a whim. It wasn't anything planned, but it's fun to shop at Victoria's Secret every now and then and kind of pamper yourself with that stuff there. So that was the second stop that I made while I was in Boston. My next stop that I made um, after Victoria's Secret was Sephora. Um, I recently became a VIB member at Sephora because I earned enough points to move up to VIB level. Great success. No, not really. Whatever. Um, it just means I spend too much on stuff sometimes. Uh, but I decided to get something with it and get some more points. I would have gotten this actually at Neiman Marcus, but it's fine. I wanted to use the VIB thing at Sephora, so I decided to go there. There is a Sephora in uh, Pr the Prudential Mall in Boston, and I wanted to see what that one looked like um, compared to the one where I live, because there's one at where I live in JCPenney. And this one is huge, probably because it is its own store. It's not like in a little set off in JCPenney. It is its own Sephora store. So it was huge. They had a lot of the stuff like they only have on their website that you can't find in like the JCPenney Sephora's. They had it in this one. Like they had um, like the Tom Ford perfumes. They had Nest perfumes, Toka perfumes. Uh, they had, they even had Chanel perfumes and uh, Victor and Rolf Flower Bomb perfume. They had, I think they even had a few ones also by Givenchy that I didn't see at the other one. They had, they had a lot. This was a really huge Sephora. So, of course, I got a perfume. What else did I get? I ended up getting, so this is the bag, and I got none other than da -da -da -da, Victor and Rolf flower bomb. Yes, I caved. I finally got it. Everybody talks about it. Everybody thinks it's beautiful. So I decided to see what the fuss was about and get it. Um, but the box itself is really cool. It has this huge plastic insignia, V&R for Victor and Rolf. Um, and it opens this way. I should just turn it out this way. You can become a member of the Victor and Rolf Secret Service if he wants. And there's the little topper. And this... Oops, sorry. 
comes out like that. And the bottle is kind of nestled in like that, so as it flops out. But the presentation is kind of cool. So here is the bottle. The bottle itself is beautiful. If it's not the perfume that you want, it's the bottle. There's three things, I think, to me that sell this bottle. Actually, four. One is the bottle itself. Two is the advertisement with the girl, with the woman's face being wrapped up in that, uh, that like, um, that pink cloth or whatever it is. Three, it's the smell. So, yeah, one, it's the smell. Two, it's the advertisement. Three, it's the bottle. And then four, just everybody talks about it, so... But yep, it says Flower Bomb, Victor, and Rolf. There's the little insignia again, the VNR, to be like the little pin that you pull out because it's supposed to be a grenade to represent an explosion fragrance. Um, yeah, it's just, it's it's really beautiful. I love it. Um, I'm not trying to think if it lasts. I think on my skin it lasts a decent amount of time, but it is really pretty. It has tons and tons of floral notes in it. To me, though, it just smells very floral and very sweet. It smells like it has vanilla in it. I don't know if it actually does, but it smells like it. It is supposed to be considered a gourmand fragrance. This is the the 3.4-ounce bottle, by the way, 100 ml. They actually had a 5-ounce bottle, which was cool. Um that I almost got, but it's fine because I kind of like holding this one in my hand. The other one is really, really big. So I do like it. Actually, it was cool, too, because when I got my Kelka Fleur, I did tell the lady I liked Flower Bomb. She gave me a free kit. I don't have it with me now because I gave it to my mom, but she actually gave me a free little gift set of a mini Flower Bomb bottle, and it came with a shower gel body lotion, actually two body lotions. Like that set, I think, goes for like normally 40 to 60 bucks. But she gave it to me for free. I don't know if maybe she wasn't making great sales that day, because, again, it's named Marcus. But I gave it to my mom, and she really likes it. So I have the big bottle. So um, I am really glad I got it. I can't believe I caved. I usually do fall into um, that kind of thing. If people talk about it, they be like, well, maybe I should get it, too. It's not a good thing, but every now and then you do it. Peer pressure, I guess. But um, that is what I got. At Sephora, so it was a very good buy, so I am very happy I got it. That was, um, yeah, that was a good experience. Because the other place I would have gone to was Saks Fifth Avenue. I didn't like it in there too much because people were very, very snobby there. So I wouldn't recommend there. Neiman Marcus, not bad. Sephora is usually your best bet um, if you love a lot of beauty stuff. So I definitely always recommend Sephora. So that was my third stop of the day. My fourth stop that I went to while I was in, uh, actually I should say that at this point, um, the Sephora and the next place I went was pretty much in the Prudential Mall, if you know where that is. Um, you can get right there to there from Neiman Marcus. But um, So in the Prudential, every now and then I will stop at this store, and unfortunately I do have to stop at this store because another store is closed. It's a bookstore. Every now, Yes, every now and then I do get into reading. Um, because Borders closed, if you've ever shopped at Borders, it's very sad that it's gone. Um, you can still shop at Barnes & Noble. Unfortunately, they're not very popular around where I live, but they, there is one right in the Prudential Mall, so I did go there at the Barnes & Noble. Um, I mean, it's just pretty much the same price as any normal bookstore. They just sell it for the, the price that's printed on the back of the book. But I decided to get a look at a couple books there so I didn't have to order them online. Um, every now and then, if I'm just like, oh, I wonder what's nice or what looks good to read, I'll just pick this up. I'll shop like that just on a whim or whatever, but normally I try to really um, find something in a series that I really like. So in this case, I did um, because I don't follow too many series, but one series that I absolutely love that I definitely recommend uh, for anybody who does like books is this one here. This is uh, Preston and Child. Um, it's Doug, two um, authors, Douglas Preston and Lincoln Child. Um, they do write a lot of action-adventure, murder mystery books. Um, there's a little bit of gore in them if you can handle gore. But their books are so, so awesome. They're really good. They're very addicting. Like a lot of times you don't always believe when they say you can't put a book down. This one I literally could not put down or one from the series I could not put down. Um, 
their most popular series that they write together is, if you if you do follow these authors at all, is um, there's one about a specific character named uh, Special Agent Pendergast. Hopefully, I'm pronouncing his name correctly, but he's an FBI agent who has so many adventures all over the place. Um, specifically, he teams up with um, characters that he met in New York. Um, if you've ever read the book Relic, which was their first the first in the series, which I recommend you reading because it's just so awesome. It explains a lot there about all the characters, but it just follows him through all these adventures, so um, I recommend the series. Um, I got the two newest ones in the series, which are these two here. Uh, this one is, what is it? It's White Fire, and this one is Two Graves. Uh, I think this one is first, and then this one is the newest one, if I'm not mistaken. But, um, I'm reading one of the books actually now. I'm still kind of halfway into the series so far, so um, so I'm reading that now. But yeah, you know, like I said, I don't. I'm not a huge book aficionado, but I do I do like books to read every now and then. But this is definitely a series that I highly recommend. I didn't even bother looking at any other books. I was just like, I already know what I'm going in to get, so I just got these two, so I didn't have to order them on Amazon. So um, definitely a good buy. I was very happy. It was pretty much just like 10 and 10, so 20 bucks altogether for the two books. Not bad. Um, books are always expensive anyway, so um, that was what I got at Barnes & Noble. And um, good place, though, if you do ever want to get a book and even sit down and drink a coffee because they have a Starbucks there, too. So definitely recommend that place, too. The next place I went was I actually, again, if you know the Boston area, I jumped on the Green Line and I got off at the Copley Station and I went to a place called Park Street. Um, Park Street is a really great place and it's a very, very busy place on the subway um, area because you can transfer from Green Line to the Red Line and that area is very, very busy because there are tons and tons of shopping area areas or, t or shopping stores in that area, um, like they have a Macy's, they have a Bath and Body Works, they have a Payless, they have I think a DSW Shoes there as well, Food Court, um, Marshalls, TJ Maxx, they have a lot of pl places there that you can go. Um, I think a place called Rainbow as well, which has some cool stuff. But one place I particularly do like to go there every now and then is a place called So Good Jewelry. Um, I do love jewelry. Um, as you can tell, and there too. Um, I do love jewelry, um, and they have, this whole place is literally dedicated to just jewelry. Two levels of just jewelry. It's like, it, it's, it's incredible. It's like a very flamboyant dream come true. So, uh, and it's just so glittery, glittery and sparkly and sequins all over the place. So, um, yeah, I decided to get something while I was there. Usually if I shop there, uh, I will get earrings because I do always wear earrings. I don't always wear necklaces, but I always do wear some type of an earring just because, I don't know, I just like it. Um, so I bought three pairs of earrings there. One I can try to take them out, or if I can, I can just at least take a couple out. Um, usually because of my hair being so long, I tend to get... They say you should get big earrings so you can see them a little better. But I got this one, which is really pretty. Um, a lot of the stuff there, too, was like 50 and 70% 70, 70 off. Uh, this was originally $3, and I think I got it for 150 So that's pretty cool for earrings that big. Um, there's that one. There's this tiny one, tiny tear that I have already worn. I usually wear tinier pairs if I have my hair up in a ponytail, which I will do every now and then. Um, but they look like that. It's just like this little upside down maple leaf with a flower in it. They're really, really cute. Again, I apologize if you can't really see these because my camera's not that great. But um, that's, that's those. And then the third one I got. Uh, these right here, they were just really cheap. They're like a dollar fifty per pair, and there's some that can go to like twenty plus. So, and I got this one as well, which are really really nice, and I think they'll look kind of cute with my hair. Um, it's these these gold ones with little like white rhinestones, and these are also a dollar fifty. I also ended up getting two 
pairs or actually two big necklaces, but I gave those to my mom because um, she does like to wear necklaces to work with some of her uh, suits. So I gave those to her, and that's what I got there. It just comes in a a bag like this, nothing super fancy, but um, definitely recommend it. If you love jewelry, go to So Good Jewelry. So that is a good place worth to go, worth going at a uh, Park Street. Next place I ended up going, I went back on the uh, the subway train again, and I ended up going to. I heard about this. I I forget the name of it. How stupid of me! But it's um one of the gallerias. It's in Leechmere, so I got off the train station to Leechmere, um, and I decided to shop at the mall there because I always like going to malls and just seeing what there is. Um, so I actually found it's it's pretty much kind of like the the mall I go to, but everything's kind of backwards, like some of the stores that I, I know that are on the top floor, or on the bottom floor, or on the middle floor. Like, this one was definitely a bigger mall, too, because it had, like, a lot of, um, like, I think it also had, like, a Club Monaco uh, store in there, too, and if I'm not mistaken, that one's fairly pricey. So, it had some high-end stores, some normal commercial stores, or whatever there. But, um, I went, an another place I went there was, um, I went to Wet Seal, um, Old Wetfield has some really cool stuff there as well. Um, nice clothes for affordable price. So actually, the shirt I'm wearing, I did buy at Wet Seal there. Their stuff was like 50% off as well. Um, I bought this shirt, regular T-shirt there. I think that was about three or four dollars. This one was as well, also three or four dollars. So it was double that before. I one you can tell I love red and two if you haven't figured it out already I work at Target so wearing red is kind of a must if you work at Target so I did need shirts for work so I actually did buy something useful so that's good um, but yeah that was that was a that was a good store to walk in that one seemed so much more empty compared to the one where I work where I where I work I don't work at at Wet Seal where I shop because that one is just full of stuff and it's so crammed. But the one at Leechmere, um, that one's very open, and it was very quiet, so that was kind of a nice break. So I went there and just bought a few shirts there. Okay, and uh, last but not least, if you want to see, uh, the last and final place I went to on my little voyage to Boston was Chinatown. Usually I tend to finish, if I do go into Boston, I tend to finish my trip in Chinatown, one, because I do like to shop there, and two, um, it is a little walk, but I like to catch. I like to walk. I like to get off at the stop in Chinatown, and then walk to the South Station, which is right there, um, and then just take the train from there all the way back home. So um, yeah, I, there was a, quite a few things I bought in Chinatown, uh, which I usually do. Uh, there's a, I think there's a place called the Emperor's Garden. It's a it's a dim sum uh, restaurant. Um, if you don't know what that is, like waiters will usually come around in carts and, and like put stuff on your plate that you can eat. But right next to there, there's um, a little grocery store that most that a lot of people shop there. And um, I bought some stuff there. Usually I'll buy snacks, I'll buy tea, which is what I bought. Um, let's see. Usually the first thing that I'll grab if I go there is tea. I ended up buying something like this, which is called an instant chrysanthemum drink, honeyed chrysanthemum drink. I mean, I, I think it's tea. It's just in these little, like, pebble things when you open it up. It comes it comes in these little packets. But um, you just put it in your cup, like a regular like tea cup, like six, eight ounces, whatever. Just add hot water, and um, you just mix it, and you're done. So you don't have, even have to brew it. So that's all set. But I do like to get those because they're quick, and they're sweet, and they taste really good. So I got that one. I got this one as well, just called Chrysanthemum Tea. It's by this Royal King brand. could be an Americanized brand, too. I'm not sure. But, um, I mean, a lot of stuff that is Chinese in our culture now is Americanized. But if you go to Chinatown, you know, some of it is pretty authentic tasting or looking or whatever. But, um, but yeah, it even says here with an American Chrysanthemum Tea with American ginseng extract beverage. So yeah, it's the same thing. It's just instant whatever, these little like pebble things that you just put in your in your cup and you just add hot water and mix it and you're done. So 
you know, no brewing involved, so that's cool. This one is the normal tea bags, by the way. This one is called Muscle, Spinal, and Back. Um, Eucomia Herbal Tea. I don't even know if I should try pronouncing it, because I probably won't. Uh, du Zhong Cha. But um, that's what it says. I guess that's the Chinese pronunciation of it. But um, I guess it's supposed to help spot, uh, your your muscles and your spine and your back. Um, haven't tried it yet, but um, I think it'll come in handy, so we'll have to see. Because a lot of the stuff I do at work is physical, so if I ever... <laughs> Um, if I'm ever sore by the end of the day, that tea will come in handy, so we'll see. Um, I also picked up this, which is uh, rice crackers. Um, it just comes in this bag, and it says family pack. But it's basically, yeah, just these little crackers um, that is like an Asian blend. It has like a, a unique taste to it, like kind of salty and almost a little fishy. Like if you can see, there's something in here too that have this little black stuff wrapped around it. That's actually, um, that's seaweed. It's dried out seaweed that's on it. So that's usually considered like a an Asian blend, I guess. But um, they're popular there in Chinatown as well at that, at the um, at the grocery store. But they're really good. They are really good. I do recommend them. They're, they're not super salty, but they are a little salty. They're not sweet. Um, they almost like have like a little coating on them. And they they taste a little fishy if you don't mind the fish taste. And one thing I was very happy to get that I usually love getting whenever I go there is of course Pocky. I love Pocky. Um a lot of people who've had it love it. So I got a few different types. This is the classic Pocky with just chocolate. They're they're um basically like cream covered biscuits, like cracker biscuits. This one's the original chocolate. This one is, oops, sorry, I was like fling it on the floor. Um, strawberry cream covered, and this one is coconut, which is um, ch uh, chocolate with coconut flakes in it. Um, if you were at my high school, um, I hung out with the kids. I can't say I was exactly part of this group because I didn't really belong in a group like the jocks or the nerds, the math kids, the National Honor Society, whatever. But I did hang out with a lot of the kids in this group, um, the kids that were the anime kids, the ones that used to love watching anime, because I do still like anime, and I will watch it every now and then, um, but those kids were definitely obsessed with Pocky at that time. That was a craze um, when I was in high school, because a lot of the kids loved Pocky, um, or basically anything that was Japanese-oriented, but they loved Pocky, so we'd always try to get some if we could. Um, they'd always sell it at FYE. Um, I don't know if they may even sell it like Hot Topic or Newberry Comics or something, but they definitely sell it in Chinatown. Um, they sell them in big packs. They sell them in different uh, flavors. Like there's one, too, they had of like matcha green tea. Um, I don't think they have them anymore, but they used to have one that was like chocolate cake and then mango cream. Those were really good, too. Uh, these were like the ones I could find, so I just grabbed a bunch of those. So um, I ended up grabbing a bunch of snacks when I was there. So, um, yeah, by the time I was done shopping, my arms were full of bags and my muscles were killing me by the time I got home because I didn't have a car. So basically anything I bought, I had to carry. So I was a little sore the next day, but it was definitely worth it. Um, I don't go into Boston a lot anymore because it can be expensive, but um, it was definitely a fun day. I enjoyed doing it. Um, so I got a lot of cool stuff. And, um, yeah, if you've never been to Boston, it doesn't have to be just for shopping. It's just a fun city. It's a historical city. Uh, a lot of great places, a lot of great sites, a lot of people. Most of the stuff is that um, places are within walking distance or traveling distance by bus or by subway. So you don't always have to bring your car if you don't want to because if you don't drive a lot, um, it can be a little hectic. But it's um, it's definitely a fun place, and I'm really glad I got to go there again. Um, I don't know, I guess we'll have to see where I, where I go um, next time, and next time I'll try to update a little bit sooner than I have been. But I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, haul video, and I hope you have a great day. Um, have a good one, and yep, have a good one, and bye-bye.